If you have not been following the Apple versus NFT saga, well, let me be the one to break the news to you. Most recently, Apple updated their policy saying that they want 30% of every single NFT transaction. Some say this is grotesquely overpriced compared to the 2.5% that a marketplace like Magic Eden or OpenSea charges. Gabe Layden, CEO of Limit Breaks, which has just launched the mega NFT collection Digidaigaku, says that the recognition from Apple could encourage onboarding of over 1 billion people. Of course, he's a proponent for this because all of his NFTs were given away for free. So he would happily give Apple a 30% cut of a free NFT, which is basically zero. Coinbase, on the other hand, has not even been able to update their Apple application because Apple has frozen that capability. Apple has frozen Coinbase's ability to transfer NFTs, which sucks. However, Apple is claiming that they should get a piece of every transaction fee, even the gas fee that is required to send NFTs. They want a piece of that gas fee. They are comparing Apple as greedy vultures who want to take a cut for every email sent over the internet, which is just not possible. They even go on to point out that Apple's own app system does not support cryptocurrency. So even if they wanted to charge and pay Apple their due, they can't even do it. In response, one of the most popular marketplaces for the Solana ecosystem, Magic Eden, has pulled out from the Apple App Store even when Apple offered to lower its fees to 15%. Everyone's scrambling. Some platforms are limiting their functionality so they won't get charged. This, the story is going to get very interesting because Starbucks just launched their loyalty program through their mobile apps. We don't know how many of those 24 million mobile loyalty members are utilizing Apple. I dare say a lot of them. But we do know Starbucks is planning to offer a marketplace powered by Nifty Gateway where you can buy and sell Starbucks Odyssey digital collectibles. Time will tell if Apple is going to put the clamp down on Starbucks. The community at large largely disagrees with Apple's approach here. On a recent interview with Ryan Carson, some have hinted that Apple is looking to start their own blockchain to create their own monopoly. Even with mounting public pressure, Apple's not backing down. It's sticking with its 30% in-app rule, despite that it's going to limit Web3 adoption and progression. There may be light at the end of the tunnel for developers and platforms such as Coinbase and OpenSea. Apple plans to allow external iOS applications starting 2023. This is in response to EU regulations. Do you remember a year or two ago when the GDPR rules came about? I'm sure you realize it now. You're clicking a lot more buttons allowing consent for platforms to store your data and sell them to the third party. That was all initiated by the EU. They had stringent private policy laws that favored the consumer. And now they have a new law coming about called the European Union's Digital Market Act that's going to be fully enforced 2024. What this means is that even within its own ecosystem of a iPhone or an iPad, you are now by law required to allow external apps from third party sources and marketplaces in Europe. Apple is still weighing whether to allow these third-party apps to use their own payment infrastructures rather than to force them to use Apple's. Now, if they allow third parties to use their own payment infrastructure, that can make it easier to spend cryptocurrency, aka NFTs, through iPhone and iPad apps. Dan Finley, the co-founder of MetaMask, does not sell NFTs. However, he did suggest that MetaMask could be the next impact to hear by Apple's rules. He stands in absolute solidarity with those affected. Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney is advocating for the U.S. to pass a similar law that will force Apple to open up its ecosystem. Many Web3 developers are hoping to create interoperability between platforms. It seems like Apple is creating their own mixed-use reality headset and on on this Web3 ride. But if you want to utilize the road that they built, you got to pay a hefty toll. In a world where we spend more time on our phones than anywhere else, this conversation is very important. You can't escape it by going to Android because they also charge 30% as a standard fee for all transactions through their applications. So until we get this fixed, you know where I will be buying and selling and trading NFTs, and that is on my boring old PC computer. This is how we know we're still in the heydays of growing the NFT and the metaverse. One thing is for certain, the NFTs aren't going anywhere. They're actually being accepted by the likes of Apple. They just want a piece of the pie. Let me know your thoughts below. What's going to happen? I don't think Apple's going to kick Starbucks off of their platform or not allow them to update their software. But time will tell, they actually froze Fortnite from their app store, not allowing them to update their software on the iOS. 
So I could be wrong here. Maybe it'll stop Starbucks also. That would be absolutely bonkers. I cannot wait for that drama to unfold. If you love NFTs as much as I do, check out my link down below. I talk all the time when I'm buying, selling, and chatting up with my community. Follow along because I have three market updates every single week. I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.